The COVID-19 pandemic has now infected over 777,000 people across the globe, with over 37,500 others dying from this virus to date. The health ministry in Madrid has just revised the number of new cases there, which now stands at almost 94,500, with the death toll also mounting to a total of 8,189. That's up from 7,340 the previous day. This makes this new rate a record for Spain. For more on the situation there, we can bring in our correspondent, Sarah Morris, who is standing by. Sarah, first of all, tell us more about these latest figures and just what they tell us. Oh, well, the health ministry says that this is a record day, 849 uh, more deaths in the last 24 hours, bringing the death toll uh, to 8,189. That's very disappointing for Spaniards. Uh, the health authorities had been saying that the curve uh, of uh, uh, the number of those infected was flattening out, uh, but this uh, is a particular blow uh, to Spaniards. Uh, the numbers of those infected rises by 9,200 uh, to just over 94,400. Uh, the good uh, news, the silver lining, are the number of those who are uh, recovering and being released from hospitals. Uh, they are topping 19,200. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the number, uh, the record daily death toll is particularly saddening for Spaniards uh, because many uh, times uh, the people uh, die alone in the hospitals because of the contagiousness of the virus. Uh, their families and loved ones are not allowed to, to visit them. Uh, Spaniards, of course, are, have been told uh, that they will be staying in lockdown for another two weeks and uh, yesterday uh, the measures to uh, ban all non-essential economic activity uh, began as the government said uh, that this uh, there needed to be an, an intensification of the fight uh, in these extremely sad and bitter hours. Just on that point Sarah with the death toll hitting new highs where you are we are expecting authorities to get a little tougher. Uh, that's right. There will be a, a cabinet meeting today and we're expecting uh, the uh, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez to look at extra measures to help uh, companies. Uh, lots of self-employed people, for instance, complained uh, that they were not eligible for any kind of relief and they were being told to close their businesses. Uh, there will be something announced uh, for them. Uh, perhaps they won't have to pay all of their social security payments uh, under the new measures today. Uh, also, measures for people who were renting. Uh, lots of people are in very dire economic circumstances because of the lockdown. Uh, they can't leave their homes, they can't go about uh, their jobs and we're seeing an increasing number of temporary layoffs and some businesses, particularly the smaller ones, uh, frankly are just going to the wall. Okay, Sarah Morris, our correspondent in Madrid, thank you very much.